Oh, it, it's uh, it's it's humbling. It's a real honor. You know, when I when uh, I was nominated, some faculty asked if they could nominate me, and I said yeah. And I went and told my my kids and my my daughter said, "Wow, that's great, just to be nominated." And you know, it really was just to be nominated. And I um, uh, to to be selected is it's really great. You know, I I I consider myself a very typical teacher at the College of Idaho, not not overly exceptional or anything. I think uh, the way President Hember describes it is uh, I was the main architect of PEAK. Um, we had, but other people had lots of roles uh, involved in uh, seeing it get passed and revised and put together. So it, it's owned by the faculty. Um, but I think it's changing the culture. I, I think it's changing the, the, even the relationships that we have with our students as faculty members. I think it's, more importantly, it's changing the way that students look at their own education. It's built more on, on, on their choices and their interests. So uh, I think um, I'd say that's, that's been one of the, the bigger changes uh, regarding uh, uh, how Peak is moving the, the academic culture in a, in a good direction. I, I enjoy the relationship that I get to have with my students. It's a close relationship. I get to mentor them. I get to both pursue or help them pursue their interests, but I also get to inspire them. And I, I think one thing that excites me is when I can see how the, the material that we're covering in class, the things that we're doing when I get to take them abroad, and I see those wheels turning and they start to develop their own interests, I feel, uh, I feel like I've had a role in that. And that's a kind of a powerful feeling to know that you can, um, you can help students uh, discover things. That's to, I tell that a lot. You know, um, I think uh, that's why I like to study what I study. There's so much discovery involved, and I get to see those students discover this, like I did when I was a student. These are I get to teach courses that have been taught at the college for a long time, and um, so I teach international politics. I teach uh, uh, Model United Nations is an activity course that I get to teach that has a long history at the college, um, and then I, then I have a slew of courses that I do uh, that are related to Asia as well. We I had some an opportunity to apply for a grant, where a faculty member takes a small number of students, four or five students, to Asia to do actual research. It's faculty mentored student research, and what that did is it gave us full funding to take a group of these four students to Thailand for a month, where they engaged in a joint research project looking at the tangerine industry in Southeast Asia and how it's changing due to free trade and globalization. We were able to interview, you know, people, uh, uh, CEOs and founders of, of plantations. We interviewed uh, workers that were in, in the fields, migrant workers, refugees that were workers. We we interviewed small farmers, um, local officials, government officials. We interviewed act the monks that are active in the environmental movement in Thailand, all about it. So. We were able to get, I was able to share with my students what I do when I do a research project, only this time they were doing the project. And they just did an amazing job. Um, I often describe what I do as, uh, in fact, a former professor of mine said, you know, what I do is I, I read books and I talk about them with young people. And uh, that's what I do. Um, and I, unfortunately, I get to take them with me oftentimes to, to Asia where that's kind of my laboratory and get to, to uh, help them see uh, globalization in action. Uh, it's, a, it's a really, uh, I can't believe they pay me to do this.